so we spent a total of $1,000 in just one day. Zero. We spend money on food, mostly food. Hi guys! Today's video is a what we spend in a week video as a couple in New Zealand and as Filipino immigrants living in New Zealand. If you're new to this channel, hi my name is Trisha. I make cleaning, organizing, and lifestyle videos. If you're into these kinds of stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the red button down below, and also turn the notification bell icon to keep you notified every time I post a new video. You can also follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook account. It's at lovetrisha12 and the love Trisha 12. Their links are in the description box below. Today's video is a what we spend in a week in New Zealand as a couple and as Filipino immigrants living in New Zealand. Now, I've already talked about the cost of living in New Zealand in my other videos, so if you haven't seen it yet, I suggest that you go see it because it will give you a more detailed explanation on the cost of living in New Zealand. Before we head on to our spending, I would like to give you guys an overview of our living situation here in Auckland, New Zealand. My my husband and I are living in a two-bedroom apartment. We're sharing this space with another couple but this is somewhat a normal living situation especially here in Auckland for immigrants like us. I've been living here for two years now and my husband had been here for more than 10 years now and so far I'm loving it here in New Zealand. Anyway, my husband and I go out at least three to four times a month so that's at least once every week. We really make it a thing for us to go out at least one day a week to spend time together outside the house just to enjoy life and each other's company. By going out, I mean buying groceries and eating out after that, but we do buy our groceries at least one to two times a month. So with the other days that we do go out, we go to the park and go to the mall afterwards and just go window shopping and sometimes I get to buy a few items. I'm going to start the week on a Sunday. This day was actually a special day for us because we decided to celebrate our anniversary on this day. If you follow me on my Instagram and Facebook pages, you know that I recently posted about our second year wedding anniversary and it was only during this day which was a Sunday that we got the chance to celebrate it. We actually had a reservation booked at a fancy restaurant out in the city but we decided to cancel the reservation the night before which was a Saturday night because we realized that we didn't want to get all dressed up and we didn't want to eat only a small portion of food at an expensive price. We'd rather spend the day picking out. We then decided to eat at a Japanese restaurant located inside the mall. We spent a total of almost $72 on the food that we had. I had bonito tonkotsu and chicken karage and Dennis had a rice meal which I forgot what it was but it was really good as well and then we shared salmon sushi rolls and we we also had matcha cake for dessert. The food was really good you guys and I did not regret eating at the Japanese restaurant for our anniversary. We then strolled around the mall. I bought a couple of clothes for myself to get ready for the spring to summer season here in New Zealand. I mainly bought a couple of dresses and if you're following me on my Instagram and my Facebook page, again I posted a video, a try on haul video about those clothes that I bought. If you want to see it, go follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook accounts. Their links are in the description box below and the clothes are really nice in my opinion of course I chose them. I spent a total of almost $450 for the clothes. Dennis didn't want to buy new clothes or shoes. He's pretty content with what he had in his closet. We then bought a couple of grocery items at Countdown. We spent a total of almost $70. Around nighttime we got hungry again and we're already too lazy to cook dinner so we bought from our favorite Mexican place. We ordered mango chicken salad and burrito which are two of my most favorite items in that place. 
we then spent a total of $34 for our dinner. So for this day, I'm also going to include our rent, which we pay every week. If you've seen my cost of living video in New Zealand, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch it, you guys, after this video. And I also sent money to my family in the Philippines, which I know most Filipino immigrants or OFWs can definitely relate. I sent money to them as a support because our region in Bicol was recently hit by a typhoon. It's actually a pretty normal occurrence, especially in Bicol. We're actually located beside the Pacific Ocean. So we're always hit by the typhoon every year. My family said that the typhoon was really strong. actually damaged a lot of houses and even caused landslides and floodings in a lot of areas in the Bicol region. So I sent just a little amount of money that I can to help them. By the way, I would like to thank everyone who graciously lent me their photos from the recent typhoon in the Philippines. Thank you so much to my sister Ace, my brother June, Ate Jean, Rachel Dulong, and the UST Legaspi College of Law, thank you for lending me your photos and videos of the typhoon for this video. So, we spent a total of $1,000 for this day. Some of these spendings are unusual to spend on a normal day. The last time that I bought new clothes was actually three months ago before the winter season started because I had to buy clothes for winter time. So, I can pretty much say that I rarely buy new clothes for myself. So we spent a total of $1,000 in just one day. That's pretty unusual, especially for us guys, because we're not rich. Now for Monday and Tuesday, We didn't spend anything, fortunately, you guys, because we don't have a lot of money to spend with. We're on a tight budget, and we're actually really cheap people. So it's pretty normal for us to not spend money every single day. So for Monday and Tuesday, zero. Bye, Wednesday. I bought a couple of items again at the supermarket. Whenever we drop by the supermarket, we usually spend money on food, some supplies, but mostly on food. By Thursday, we didn't spend anything again. And then by Friday, Audible charged me for my monthly subscription, which was about $18. I subscribed to Audible because I love reading books, but I recently discovered for myself that I love listening to audiobooks as well. So I subscribed to Audible and I get to have one credit every month. So that's actually a pretty good deal. We decided to go out and buy our monthly supplies or our monthly groceries. If you have seen my grocery shopping video or my grocery haul video, you know that we usually buy our groceries every first week of the month and we're not yet supposed to buy our groceries or monthly grocery items until Sunday. Unfortunately, we had some other plans for Sunday so we then decided to buy our groceries that Friday instead and we spent a total of $220 for our monthly grocery items but that's actually just I think one-third of our total monthly spending on groceries because we usually spend around $400 to $600 on our groceries. We skipped a couple of grocery items because we decided to just get a few stuff that we needed for that week and then we're just going to go back to the grocery or to the supermarket probably a few weeks after to get the rest of the stuff. So for Friday, we spent a total of $240. And then for the last day, which is Saturday, we didn't go out that day and I was only charged $30 for a monthly subscription on an app that I subscribe to. And that is it. That's everything that we spent for that specific week. And pretty much it actually covers what we usually spend on as a couple here in New Zealand. We spend money on food, mostly food. We spend money on our clothes, buying new clothes. We spend money on food again, eating out at a restaurant. We spend money on rent 
family support. Those are the regular things that we spend on as a couple here in New Zealand and as immigrants living here in New Zealand. So our total spending for that week is $1,310. Like I've said, it's, actually, it's pretty unusual for us to spend that much in a week, I think. But I think that's not bad at all compared to other couples, I think. And I actually consider us as a couple who does not spend too much money, especially since we buy the cheapest items most of the time so yeah since we're not rich anyway <laughs> anyway i hope i have given you guys an idea on what an immigrant's life in new zealand is and what we usually spend as a couple living in new zealand if you like these kinds of videos please give this a thumbs up and go watch my cost of living in new zealand video to give you more idea about the life in new zealand anyway thank you so much guys for watching and see you on the next one bye Thank you.